do have a few tips for the bio biochem section because I actually was a fan of the section compared to others. So for me personally, I really liked approaching bio biochem passages through passage mapping. And what this basically means is as I read through the passage, I would be writing at the same time very key words and key relationships. So let's say I'm like reading through the passage and I come across a certain amino acid or a certain type of protein or something along those lines, I would write that down. And then later in the passage, it mentions that same protein or that same amino acid again and its role in something. So I would write down like an arrow connecting the two ideas, basically mapping out the passage in a way that was condensed in a way that made sense to me. So that way, when I was going through the questions, I didn't have to reference the passage as heavily. I instead referenced my little passage mapping that I had done myself. This technique will get easier with practice and will definitely take a lot of time when you're applying it at the beginning. Like if you're barely starting out passage ma mapping, it might take you like 10 to 15 minutes per passage instead of an ideal of like five to seven minutes per passage. And this is okay because this is where you will see growth. And eventually you'll get to a point where you're going through these passages really quickly, writing down your passage mapping at the same time that you're doing the passage. And it gets so much easier to answer the questions, at least in my opinion. This worked for me, it may not work for you. As far as like study resources that I personally used, during my study time, I used Jack Weston, which is a free resource that you can use for the MCAT. It's great for the car section and psych but I also liked it for bio biochem. I also personally bought a UWorld subscription and I thought that their bio biochem passages were very hard, but they were useful in seeing your content gaps and also like applying your strategy to content that's a little bit more difficult than what you'll see on the double AMC test itself. And then in my last like six weeks of studying, I also used the double AMC bundle, all of the questions in there. I think they have like a biology section specifically, like a biology question bank. Um, and I used literally like all of their questions and practiced them towards the end of my studying. And that was the most useful and the most like directly applicable to what I saw in the actual MCAT. As far as like what Anki decks I used, I used the Miles Down deck and I actually really liked their bio section because it wasn't as overwhelming as the Jack Sparrow deck, which that deck is hefty and I just didn't have the time for that one. So I really liked the Miles Down deck for that. And I also liked adding my own flashcards um, kind of as I went to the Miles Down deck, just because there were certain areas that I had like gaps in that I personally wanted to target a little bit more heavily. So I added in my own flashcards into the deck itself. But yeah, these were just a few tips that worked for me because they worked for me doesn't mean that they'll work for you. So try them out, try out the resources, and hopefully you see a score improvement in your bio biochem section and start to make a little bit more sense. But best of luck with your studying and good luck on testing.